Hi, my name is Irene. I'm from Indonesia. Today I'm going to show you about highest common factor and lowest common multiple. Factors. There are eight boxes that should be carried on. There is one truck. We'll carry all eight boxes itself. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there are two trucks. Each truck will carry four boxes equal. One, two, three, four. Trucks cannot carry the same amount of boxes. Let's find out. One, two, three. Uh oh. Two trucks have three boxes in them. So one truck have two boxes. It's not fair to the other trucks. So there are four trucks. Each truck will carry two trucks. One. Two. Cannot carry the same amount of number. Try. One. Two. While two trucks have one box. It's not fair. If there are six trucks, each truck cannot carry the same amount of boxes. One. Two. Oh no! Two trucks have two boxes in them, while the other four have one boxes in them. It's not fair to the other two. Now let's try seven trucks. Seven trucks cannot be cannot carry the same amount of boxes. One. One truck carries two boxes, while the others carry one. It's not fair to the, this one.
let's try eight trucks. One. one box. It means a factor of eight are one, two, four, and eight. This is another example. If there are twelve stacks that should be carried on, if there is one stack, we'll carry all twelve. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. If there are two trucks, each truck will carry six sacks. One, two, three. Four, five, six. If there are three trucks, each truck will carry four sacks. Okay, three sets equal. One. Two. Cannot carry the same amount of boxes. Let's find out. Trucks carry three sacks, while the other tree carry two sacks. It's not fair. Two sets. One, two, seven trucks cannot carry the same amount of sacks. Let's find out. Let's 
trucks carry two sacks and two trucks carry one sack. It's not fair. Oh no. Four trucks carry two sacks, while the other four carry one. It's not fair. Let's try nine now. One. Two. Uh oh. Three trucks have two sacks, while the others have one. It's not fair. Straight time. One. Two. The trucks have two sacks where others have one. It's not fair. Oh no, one of the trucks has two sacks in it. It's not fair, the others have one. This is the only one that has two.
12. If there are 12 trucks, each truck can carry one sack. One. The factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. Because one truck Two truck, three truck, four truck, six truck, and twelve truck can carry the same amount of sacks. Eight boxes can be carried with one truck, two truck, four trucks, and eight trucks. So the factors of 8 are 1, 2, 4, and 8. Because 1, 2, 4, and 8, 12 can carry the same amount of boxes. 12 sacks can be carried with 1 truck, 2 truck, 3 truck, 4 truck. of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. Because 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12 trucks can carry the same amount of sacks. Now that we have learned factors, we will learn about common factor. Imagine if there are eight boxes and twelve sacks in the same time, how many trucks do we need to carry the amount of boxes and sacks equally? If there is one truck, it will carry all eight and twelve sacks by itself. will be carried four boxes and six sacks equally. One, two, three, four. Now let's count the sacks. One, two, three, will be carry two boxes and three sacks equally. One, two, now let's find the sacks. 
One, two, three, it means the common factors of eight, twelve, and twelve are one, two, and four. Because one, two, and four trucks can carry the same amount of boxes and sacks. Now we have learned common factors and factors. We will learn highest common factors. One truck can carry all eight boxes and twelve sacks. Two trucks can carry four boxes and six sacks. Four trucks can carry two boxes and three sacks. The common factors of eight and twelve are one, two, and four. Four is the highest common factor of eight and twelve. Because they will carry a very small amount of boxes and sacks. It will be easy job for them. If I call less truck, I only call one truck. I will save more money for transportation costs. But the truck will be sad and tired of carrying too much boxes and sacks. I decided to be kind to the trucks. So, I call the highest common factor of 8 and 12. So I call 4 trucks to help me carry on those boxes and sacks. We can use this knowledge of highest common factor to make our lives easier. Now let's learn about multiple. Example, Sergeant Street comes on October 2. October 2. And will come again every two days after. It means the Sergeant Ship will come again on 4th of October, 6th of October, 8th of October, and 10th of October. Two, four, six, eight, ten is multiplication of two. Tuna fish comes on October 3. And will come again three days after. It means the tuna ship will come again at 6th of October and 9th of October. 3, 6, 9 is multiplication of 3. Daddy Kitten sells sardine and tuna at his fish shop. The sardine ship come on October 2nd, October 4th, October 6th, October 8th, and October 10th. The tuna ship come on October 3rd, October 6th, and October 9th. On October 2nd, Daddy Kitten went to the harbor and bought some sardine. On October 3rd, Daddy Kitten went to the harbor and bought some tuna. On October 4th, Daddy Kitten went to the harbor and bought some sardine again. Daddy Kitten felt very 
Hollywood, because he had to go to the Hollywood many times. What can we do to help Daddy Hidden? Daddy Kitten, check on your calendar. So, Daddy Kitten checked on his calendar. And he realized if on October 6th, the sergeant and tuna ship came on the same day. So he doesn't have to waste energy and go every two days, every three days. He just have to go every six days. Daddy Kitten go to the harbor every six days. He came at October 6th. October 12th, October 18th, October 24th, and October 30th. It means the common multiple of 2 and 3 is 6. Baby Kitten wants to buy anchovy layered fish. Daddy Kitten has to repair it. Anchovy ship come on October 2nd and comes every two days after. So it means the Anthony ship comes at October 2nd, October 4th, October 6th, October 8th, and October 10th. 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10 is multiplication of two. The lava ship comes on October 5th and comes every five days after. So this means the lava ship comes on October 5th, October 10th, October 15th, October 20th, October 25th. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five is multiplication of five. Daddy Kitten learned that he should go to the harbor every ten days. Because at the 10th of October, there are anchor ship and lava ship. So, he will go to the harbor every 10 days. Daddy Kitten will go to the harbor at October 10th, October 20th, October 30th, October 10th, 20th, 30th is multiplication of 10. 10, 20, 30, is a common multiple of 2 and 5. In order to get the anchovy and lurid fish as soon as possible, Daddy Kitten will should go to the harbor on October 10. 10 is the lowest common multiple of 2 and 5. Kitten, you have solved your problem. Understand mathematics concept will help us to do our daily activities easier. Like Daddy Kitten. Do you agree with me? Let's learn mathematics and enjoy our lives. Thank you.